In this video you will learn how to transfer the cube map textures from one map to another. It's rarely required to do so, but I myself had this issue just today because I neglected to check where my cube map entities are. So a pickup truck and its trailer looks like as if they are glowing in the night because they are using a cube map that is inside a house. I cannot ship a map like that and neither should you. Luckily we have the option to just delete the cube maps in this broken map and import cube maps from one that isn't broken. Let me show you how it's done. First, you make a backup of the file that is broken. Just save the BSP map anywhere on your computer so that you cannot delete it, because we will need it. Then open Hammer and add more cube map entities where you need them. You can add them, you can move them, you can delete them, it doesn't matter as long as cube maps are where they need to be, it is correct. Once you placed all the cube maps wherever you want them, compile that map in HDR only, not on final, with a fast VVIS. All we care about is that the light on the cube map looks okay. We don't care about whether the map is optimized or not because we won't even need that map. We just need it for building the cube maps. After the map has been compiled, open the game, launch the map and build the cube maps. Then close the game again, restart it, just to check if the cube maps are actually okay. Once that is done, close the game again. In the description below you will find a download link of a bat file. That bat file is used to delete the cube maps of the broken map, extract the cube maps that you have just now made and then you can use VID or VIDE to import those extracted cube maps into the broken map essentially completely swapping out all the cube maps for a set of cube maps that works. Right click the bat file and edit in notepad++. You can see at the very top our base settings. Decide where the bin location of your game is. In my case, D, program, steam, steam apps, common, left for that's to bin. Then the game info path. Then below that is the BSP file names. Those names are used in the delete cube maps and extract cube maps section. Assuming that you're doing exactly what I am doing. Deleting the cube maps from a broken map and importing them from a different map of the exact same name. Then decide the BSP of the broken map, the one where the cube maps are going to be deleted from. In my case, my broken BSP is in the custom content hardly rain maps folder. Below that is the BSP file of the map you have just made new cube maps for. In my case, that one is in left for that's two maps. Then below that is where the extracted VTF files of the cube maps have to be saved. In my case, I put those in custom content hardly rain maps as well. It will make a subfolder there called map name underscore cube maps. Now below that is just the actual execution that happens. You can then run this bat file. You can see first it deletes the cube maps of all the maps you don't need anymore, and then it extracts the cube maps from the working ones. Open up VIDE. In the middle right is a pack file lump editor. Click on that button and load the map which had its cube maps deleted. Press the add button and look for all the cube map VTF files that you had just extracted from the other map. It will prompt you to pick a folder. It is very important that you press cancel because that shit ain't actually doing what it is supposed to be doing. A new window appears, asking you for a new relative path. In this window, delete everything before the last materials listing. 
Press OK. You will now be able to see in yellow highlighted all the textures that you have just added. Click the Save button and then you can go on and load the next map if you want to. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now I know this process is extremely niche and probably only 5% of all you people out there might ever need it, but in my case it just saved my ass because recompiling that map took me like 5 hours because I'm very bad at optimizing VRAD. Compiling a single VRAD pass took 2.5 hours, so LDR and HDR both combined on final took me just about 5 hours. And we are currently at almost just 9 minutes in this tutorial, that is way faster. If you have any problems with modding, join the dead for mods Discord server in which many people, including me, could help you out if you have problems. I also have my own Discord server in which I mostly just shitpost or post pictures of mods I'm working on. Links for both are in the description below.